Good or morning, everyone. I'm Mayor Sambal Siddiqui. I'm going to talk very slowly this morning. We're waiting for the city manager's parents. Uh, they're almost here. We're going to do some, we're going to show a video first and then the actual swearing in, the repeat ceremony. We'll make sure um, the city manager's parents are here. So thank you so much for joining us to celebrate the swearing in ceremony of our new city manager, Ian Huang. I'm joined by many of my colleagues this morning, Councillor Carlone, Councillor Simmons, Vice Mayor Mallon, Councillor Toner, Councillor Zondervan, Councillor Nolan. We're joined by State Rep Steve Owens as well. We have our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greer. We also have our former city managers, Louis A. D. Pasquale and Mr. Rich Rossi. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm going to go through each person. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> As most of you know, uh, this ceremony was supposed to take place September 6th, but the city manager unfortunately came down with COVID. This led to what I can confidently say was the first ever drive through swearing in ceremony of any city manager in Cambridge. So clearly our city manager was eager to make history. Nonetheless, the council, all of us, were so happy to be able to reschedule and come together this morning to celebrate city manager Huang and his transition into this important role. Although he technically started September 6th, the city manager has been working for months to prepare for his responsibilities and hit the ground running. I'm so grateful for the work that he's done so far and the entire city council and myself are so excited to collaborate with him as he takes on this new role. So with that, we're going to watch the exclusive footage, footage from the drive-through swearing in that took place on September 6th. That I will be a true faith and a leader in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. That I will be a true faith and a leader in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution here out to help you God. I, faith and I, not God. And following the prayer of the Son. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me as city manager. All the duties incumbent upon me as city manager. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. And the laws of this Commonwealth. And the laws of this Commonwealth. I, take a name. I, your form. You solemnly swear or affirm. We solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, so help me God. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, so help me God. Congratulations. You know, I stumbled upon it happening. I was so confused. <laughs> but every, it was raining. Nancy was holding an umbrella. It was, uh, thank you for, for doing you know, the official business. And now for all of us, including uh, the city manager's wonderful parents who are here, we were going to reenact the ceremony today so that everyone can be here. So I want to invite the city manager up. Good morning, everybody. For those of you that I have not met, I am Diane LeBlanc, and I am your uh, relatively, relatively new city clerk, and it is my great honor to be here to uh, administer, the, administer the oath of office for a second time at this public swearing-in ceremony. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
I, state your name. Uh, I, Eon Huang, do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly swear or affirm that, I will bear true faith and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And I will support the Constitution thereof, so help me God. I, state your name. I Eon Huang, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform that I will faithfully and impartially discharge or perform all the duties incumbent upon me as city manager all the duties incumbent on me uh, as city manager according to the best of my abilities and understanding according to the best abilities and understanding Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. And the laws of this Commonwealth. And the laws of this Commonwealth. I state your name. I, Eon Huang. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, so help me God. That I will solemn that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. So before um, the city manager takes the podium to say a few words, I did want to allow my uh, colleagues on the city council to say just really brief work, words of welcome. So we'll start with Councillor Carlone. Of course, we all welcome you as manager. We've gotten to know you and we're excited. The scepter and orb is coming tonight. <laughs> Councillor Simmons. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, first of all, I'm pleased to see that you didn't say I state your name. So that's a good start. <laughs> um, I want to just start with a short quote. It says, I was walking through Harvard Yard in the evening, and a black woman I did not know passed me on the sidewalk. She leaned over me as we crossed and said, persevere. So my words for you are to persevere. This is a wonderful job. It's a wonderful city. You have wonderful employees and extraordinary city council most of the time. And so I ask that you persevere and enjoy the job, but I know you're going to give all your best to it, and we wish you well. Vice Mayor Mallon. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, a warm, warm welcome to both our city manager and his parents for being here today. Uh, thank you to your family to be sharing us, sh sharing you with us uh, over the next several years and, and beyond. I know this is a really, really difficult job and you have to be in a lot of places, but I am grateful to you for the amount of time and care you took in this transition and I look forward uh, to working with you. So welcome and congr congratulations. Councillor Toner. Uh, very short and sweet. I look uh, very much forward to working with you over the future years. Uh, I think you've done a great job getting started, and uh, I'm very excited for what's to come. Thank you. Councillor Zondervan. Jan, welcome. I've already enjoyed working with you, and I look forward to continuing this great work. Thank you, and welcome. Councillor Nolan. I am just thrilled that you decided to apply. It is an honor to have you lead us. I look forward to you helping us go from a good city to a great city to bring your stellar management skills. And I also think the historic nature of your serving in this role as the first Asian American is something to be celebrated that we can all be proud of as a city. So welcome, and I'm really thrilled you're here. You've heard enough from me already, so. We'd love for you to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Mayor um, and Councilors uh, and Vice Mayor. Um, I think I am really humbled to be here and, and honored. I think I did, I did sort of think this would maybe be a smaller gathering. <laughs> And so I'm, uh, I am, I'm very uh, in awe kind of of the moment. And uh, I think maybe it is true that in many ways, I was drawn to this opportunity because I think this is such an amazing community. 
um, I really wanted to be a part of, you know, this is the city that my children will be shaped by. Um, and I feel so deeply connected to this place. Um, and I feel incredibly honored to be invited into this opportunity to be thinking about what does it mean for us to be community? Uh, what does it mean for us to serve everybody um, in this amazing city? And what role do we play um, both, uh, both for our residents, um, but also for cities beyond our borders? Um, and I think there is an incredible opportunity because of the resources and energy and passion that exists in this community, which I think is truly unique. Um, I'm really grateful for this council, and I think that um, even just the last two months that I've spent meeting with folks um, a couple of times, um, I've been just so energized by our conversations. Um, I think each of the counselors really do, I think it is such a reflection of this community because people are bringing such commitment and dedication to this city. And, you know, that doesn't mean that we always agree, but I think that uh, in these conversations, I have such hope and excitement to work out what, you know, what is, what is going to be in front of us and how do we confront the challenges that, that we're facing. Um, and I think a lot of the things that we look at within our city that we're struggling with are actually much bigger challenges um, that play out both, uh, both for the region and the state and in the nation. And so I think there's, there's both an opportunity for us to do all of these small things well in the day to day for our city, but also think about these larger trends that, um, that we have a role in, in playing a part in. Um, I think I also feel deeply in awe at just being in this position. I don't think that, you know, I think when I had first told my parents that I was thinking about this role, they did not think that there was much chance that I would end up in this position. Um, and, and so there was a little bit of skepticism. And I think even standing here now, um, I think maybe I do feel, you know, feel the, the weight of the moment. And, um, and it's not something that I've always thought of for, for myself, um, even though I think there is, uh, I think there is something about maybe not having seen somebody that looks like me or, or with a weird name in this position um, that, um, that has, uh, has me kind of in a moment right now. Um, I'm also just deeply grateful. I think this is interesting because it's not, I'm not kind of walking into my first day, but reflecting on the last 10 weeks, I'm deeply grateful for all of the city staff and leaders that I've been able to meet with. Um, this is an incredible team. Um, and I'm, I'm just, you know, I think, I think that in our culture, we emphasize too much who maybe is sitting there with some title, um, but management and organizations really are a team sport. Um, and I think these organizations only run as good as the team that you have on the field and the people that are being supported to do their roles. And so I'm incredibly grateful for um, all the city leaders that have spent uh, so many years um, offering their expertise and experience, and, um, and I'm really excited to be working with them. Um, I'm also grateful for prior leadership, so um, thank you to Mr. Louis de Pasquale and Mr. Rich Rossi, who are both here. Um, I have had wonderful meetings with both of them, and they were both very gracious um, in, in sort of sharing their wisdom, um, and I think that they have left a really strong city. Um, with great teams, um, and so I feel like there is there's a lot that I'm coming into where um, where I am standing on the shoulders of others who have come before me, and uh, I just want to want to thank them for their service um, and also for being here today. That means a lot. Um, so I think I've run out of things to say, but I'm I'm just really humbled and and looking forward to also. Um, getting to know each of you. I know that um, many of you uh, I've met with, but many of you I haven't, and, uh, and I'm excited about this role and, uh, and, and sort of the path that we will be on together going forward. So thank you so much. Thank you, city manager. So with that, I wanted to present uh, this 
to you, your swearing in documents. I have one for you, and then we have one for your parents. So we'd love to welcome your parents up as well. So we'll take some pictures, and then we'll head into the parlor for some refreshments. So please come on up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We will see you in the parlor. Thank you.